All right, guys, so here we are at Acme Manufacturing. As you know, that little sneaky roadrunner is always outsmarting Coyote. Well, Coyote always calls us here at Acme. Well, at Acme, a lot of the processes and products that we run here depend on power. And a lot of them, for us to shut down the application, requires about eight or 12 hours, and that can be problematic. So during a tornado, a storm, a hurricane, a brownout, we need about two million watts. Well, one generator can handle that. But what if we need redundancy? We need a way to back up two million watts or our two megawatt generator. Well, in this video, we're gonna show you how we make that happen. For our Acme demonstrations, if we were like truly doing this and not making a fun cartoon thing about it, when you see us coming out of here with the neutral and the grounds and each phase, you'll notice that we have four phases on each leg so that we could do 1600 amps. And so, you know, 1600 amps is getting around to where you would still need a two meg generator uh, to handle motor starting and those kind of things. But just know that we recognize that this is just for demonstration purposes, that we would, we would need more uh, cables per lug. But as you see, the kind of lugs that we use, we're able to stack them in there on both sides and we could easily get the eight cables per phase that we needed. You'll notice that the number six ground this right here, we've got it connected on the back because it's more convenient to connect it on the back and connect it to the building. For the authority having jurisdiction in your town, there may be a different way that you have to manage the grounds to your generator if you're connected to utility. But obviously, you know, we know what that is for our application, but in your application, it may be different. So consult your uh, local authority on that. So if the idea for this demonstration here so that we can keep the coyote up to speed because he keeps getting outsmarted by Roadrunner, we have a lot of power going back into the building twinned off of these two units. And then we're gonna talk a little bit more about how we can parallel these guys together. Now here we are inside the actual generator cabinet itself. So if we were gonna do this automatically, meaning that these generators need to come online, parallel automatically, and then sync to the utility automatically, it'd require a good bit of configuration. So we'll just basically kind of go over that to start with. These two units are hardwired together and they do something called dead bus arbitration, which means the two generators come online and they pass a token between each other and one of them decides which one's gonna be the first one or the lead unit. In this case, we have two. You can do this up to eight. They do it in a bunch of different ways, like the battery, timeout, they all run at it. They all just work out a way that they agree that all the generators are gonna come online. So the first thing you gotta do is get one generator online and so they look for the frequency and everything to be right and then the voltage. So then it connects to the dead bus and then all the other generators then sync to the dead bus and they automatically connect when they synchronize their frequency. So if you think about it, you know, as the, the frequency is on all three phases is 120 degrees out of phase, you have to get the rotation right when you connect them together. But we have to then wait till this 120 degree phase becomes in phase to the rotation of each of the generators and then they connect in. Then the generators, they all get drug around and say synchronized because they're actually con they're connected together. And so then the first and second harmonic will keep it from running out of whack because then as this one tries to go, it'll speed this one up and slow that one down. And then they do the load sharing. Then the connection between the generators, then they all work out what the total com load is. And then they all adjust their frequency as they all try to run to 60 or slow down from 60 Hertz and that's how they keep the load balanced on each gen set. So again, it's like we were talking about, that's important. In our case, at the Acme Widget Company, we need less than two megs. So we need say 1.2 megs, but we're starting a lot of big motors. So we need the rotational mass of the 1.2 to two megs to start the big electric motors. We need redundancy, so we're gonna have two of them running. So if we lose one engine, we could keep going. With this scenario, we could do end to one redundancy, meaning say if we had to need four megs, then we would want to put four generators in place so that you could lose up to two of them and still keep going. But if we wanted to do like three to one, then you could just add the fifth generator because then that would allow us to lose just one and we would still be over our two total run. Like that's a kind of an example of that. They also have a different way that they can do it with these guys. I showed you the ethernet port in some of the previous videos. You can actually do up to 16 generators if you connect them on the ethernet. So here's the end of one of the connectors. This is how CAT hardwires it together. And behind me, you see I have a switch and I ran these outside and I was working to uh, do it to the ethernet. You have to have all the right software in there and these units are a provision behind. If we have time, we'll get you a video of us getting the software upgraded by CAT and then we will show you a video of us twinning them together on ethernet 
and uh, I mean, we'll make it really cool because we own our own network. We'll go like 20 miles away and start the generators and parallel them remotely. Another thing that, that we can utilize these generators for is to utility. So you see right here it says parallel with utility, utility trim transfer, and utility breaker close. So what we can do here with this box is if we had an application where we needed to synchronize with the utility to maybe take a building offline from the utility so we can again synchronize the load and not have any interruptions to the loads. So this is really important because we just got a, a last minute order in from Wiley Coyote. Apparently he got blown up again. If we shut our process down for just a power blip, we have to reset and that means, you know, like 28 hours to get the line back up and running. So sometimes it's important to do that. And again, that's where you can take a unit like this, you can bring it in, have it pre-configured. We can let the power not be interrupted to your process, get you on the generator, take the utility offline, do whatever maintenance you need to do, and then synchronize back all without having a blip to your process. So I think in this video we've demonstrated that if you wanted to just be ready with two megs redundant or four megs of supply, you're going to roll four semi-trucks at you. You're going to roll two semi-trucks to move these two containers that have the four megs or the two megs of generation to get the four megs. You're going to need another semi-truck just to do the fuel for 32 hours of runtime. Behind us you see a skid steer with our box of cables and this would have come in on one of our Landall trailers. I bet he'll put us a video here about Landall trailers. You'll also see that it took three or four electricians about half a day just to move in and set up all the cabling, all the stuff that was required, and then the switch gear that we have to have inside your facility to make all this happen. That's a couple of pickup trucks. Again, if you need that expertise where you need somebody that has the logistics in the trucking, I mean, if you were to hook both of these things up with a full contingency and you were just 100 feet away, you know, you're talking about needing 32 cables to go 50 feet. So you're gonna need 64 cables for one unit, 64 cables for the next unit. That's 128 cables, phase laid down, ground and neutrals run, all connected. Then you're gonna need the low voltage connection between the generators, or you're gonna need the ethernet, the switches. You're gonna need the configuration to put all the right IPs in each of the units. Then you're gonna to have to configure for dead bus arbitration if you're gonna do it automatically. You're gonna need the electricians and the engineers then to coordinate with your utility on your side of the building. You know, one shop, one stop, one call does it all. So give us a call, 808 Parker, and we can help you with this and get you online in an emergency for a shutdown, or if you find yourself needing two million watts of power, give us a call. While we have these units, if you have a video you would like to see that maybe is your application, then you're probably not the only person that has that application. So if you'd shoot us a little quick note in the comments, we'd be happy to make your video about your application for multiple two megs. Share this video with somebody, like it, and we appreciate you watching our videos and uh, we'll see you on the next one.